Hey guys, Ash Trades here, and in this video, I'll talk about the silver booted by ICT and show you how I got a 66% win rate in the last month with these concepts. So, what you want to do is look at the time from 10 to 11 a.m. New York time, and then you want to use the 1, 2, 3, 5, and 15 minute time frame mostly, like to take entries and stuff. You can also use the higher time frames if you want to look for liquidity, fair value gaps, and so on. Then, what you do is look for the liquidity to be taken or targets to be taken, such as highs, lows, fair value gaps gaps, order blocks, uh, the New York open win, and so on. This uh, liquidity run like that takes out the targets often happens in the Judas wing from 9.30 to 10 a.m. in the New York time. And then you, what you want to do afterwards is look for aggressive movement in the opposite direction uh, and a fair value gap to be created on the 1, 2, 3, or 5 minute time frame. Then enter off the fair value gap. You can also use order blocks or breaker blocks, but I mostly use fair value gaps because it's easier and better entries in my opinion. Uh, then set the stop loss to around 5 handles and the TP to around 10 handles. Uh, and then you will get a 2 to 1 risk to reward ratio trade, which is quite good. I want to show you like 4 trades so you can see how I use this strategy. In the month of June I had 12 winners and 4 losing days, so I'm quite happy with that. And yeah, I'll try to show you like these 4 trades, how I took them and what I'm looking for when I take trades like this. If you want to have this tool yourself, you can go in the description, sign up and you can get 7 days free trial so you can try this out. You can also backtest in here, which I'll be showing you later. Now we are at the 9.30 open uh, on the 20th of June and let's look at the higher time frames for our analysis before we do the ICT silver build. What we can see on the one hour is that we have a fair value gap right here, quite a big one so this could be a draw on liquidity and we have these highs right here that could also be a target of liquidity and let's mark out the session so we are ready from 10 to 11. This is here we anticipate the silver bullet move and let's drop down to the lower time frames to see if we have something uh, it doesn't really look like we have much so let's just see what market does when it opens and we start by going up taking our buy side liquidity this could be our due to swing for price to go lower down into the fair value gap and now we can trade the ICT silver bullets. What we look for is, yeah, displacement to the other direction. So we'll look for longs now. It has to be an aggressive move where a fair value gap is created. So let's wait and see if we get that somewhere. We kind of got it right here, but I wouldn't say this is an aggressive move. We swept the highs here, but still not significant enough for me to take it. And we just touched into the fair value gap, but I still wouldn't take this trade because the displacement is not good enough. Could be we go higher here. Yeah, we didn't. So it was good you didn't take the trade. You need to look for aggressive moves, a bigger fair value gap to be created than this. So let's see what market did afterwards. Now we are filling the one hour fair value gap. And now we see some displacement here. Uh, we take out this right here. But I would still wait. So let's just wait and see what market does. It looks like we are respecting the fair value gap right here, which could be a good sign. The bodies are closing high. And now we see some displacement, finally, took out this. This looked like a good trade for me, so what we can do is enter from the first fair value gap here. I would do it in the middle, this, and let's put this stop at 5, so below these lows here. Let's see if we get entered, and let's target 1 to 2. Now we are outside the zone, but let's see what the trade does. And it went home. Let's add that to our backtesting tool at 2% here. Yes, perfect. This was a good trade. Uh, we waited and we were patient. We didn't take the first setup here because it wasn't that good. We waited for this displacement right here. And then we set our 5 handles and the target to 10 handles. And what you also can do is drop down to the higher time frames to look for fair value gaps. So you can also see on the 2 minute time frame a better displacement right here. I think this was what I entered from when I traded my own account. I just like it when it's 2 or 3 minutes. It's better sometimes or 5 minutes. You can also see we had one on the 3 minute here and let's look at the 5 minute and we also had one on the 5 minute you could enter from. So a really good trade and a really good setup. Let's go on to the next day. So now we are on the next day and let's go back to the 9.30 open just for the sake of it. I still have this fair value gap drawn out because we didn't fill it yesterday completely. We still have this left so let's just mark it out here. The low from yesterday. And yeah, let's see what market does at 9.30 open. Now we go down, and this could be seen as a Judas swing, so if this gets taken out, I'll look for longs. 
now we took out yesterday's low so now we would look for longs we see a setup forming now we have filled the valley gap completely so let's look for a move in the opposite direction if we take out a swing high we have this right here we could take out and now it's since been taken out so let's enter from the fair value gap down here and put a five pip stop loss and go for 10 handles like this so our target is up here this liquidity let's see what market does yeah sadly stopped out let's add a loss to our back testing one percent loss so what we can see happened here is that we had the market structure shift here, the aggressive move, the displacement, and we had our fair value gaps that are quite big. So it was a good entry in my opinion. We went up, took the buy side probably before we got entered. So that's a bit sad, but it is how it is. And we got stopped out because market wanted to go lower. So let's go to the next day and see what happens. So now we're on the 9.30 open here and let's mark out some highs and some lows and look for liquidity. We have a high here, high here. and we can also see that this high here is where uh, the New York uh, Midnight Open started, this dotted purple line. Let's go out and look at the one hour to see if we have something out here. We can see that we had a fair value gap over here, which is filled now I think. Yeah, we respected it quite well actually, so could anticipate price to go higher maybe. Let's just delete it. Yeah, let's see what it does market when we open at 9.30 on the 22nd of June. We start by going down, take out this liquidity here. This could be our Judas swing before we go higher. Take out this. These equal our highs over here. So yeah, I would already be looking for shorts now if we see a good displacement. I wouldn't say this counts because we just yeah we just came into this zone. I would wait a bit more. Just the macro here from 1050 to 1010 is a bit weird sometimes. I would wait for a clear displacement. Okay, this could have been a good trade if we displaced under the scan. Did so I'll wait again. Didn't displace again, so I'll wait. And now we see some aggressive movement. And now we took out the high over here. So let's see what market does after we take out this high also. So if we see some displacement now, then I'll look for shorts. And uh, we saw some displacement right here. And uh, we have taken out all the highs right here. Could also be we took out this baby. We also took this out. So I would say we have taken out a lot of buy side liquidity now. Now we could be ready for the move down. So yeah, let's change it from this fair value gap right here. Go short exactly to the top. Perfect. And let's target 10 again. Yeah, it's precisely these lows as well. So perfect. So let's see what market does. Yeah, we have filled and perfect another good trade so let's add two percent this trade was really good uh, i liked it a lot we had a lot of liquidity swept it was good we didn't take this trade uh, right here where we swept this swing low also but sometimes it's uh, good to wait a bit and not rush your trades and wait for the perfect setups like this we had a really good fair value gap here and a good displacement in this candle so i really like that trade and we can also see now nah, we didn't have anything on the one two and three minute time frame but overall really good trade in my opinion let's go to the last day friday 23rd of june and see if we can get another winner now we're on the 9 30 open let's analyze the charts and mark out the highs and the lows again and we have a lot of fair value gaps up here, so let's just do this. And let's look at the one hour. We have taken out, we took out this yesterday. We also have this down here. We could take out today's swing low here. We are very close already. And we also have this over here. So let's see what market does at the open. We go up, sweep this liquidity right here. Going a lot of back and forth in here. I wouldn't say this is like an optimal trading. Uh, yeah, session at the moment. Oh, sorry. Then we displace to the upside now. I would look for shorts. We have also these one minute highs over here. Let's see if we go up and take out all of this buy side liquidity before we go down and maybe take out the liquidity down under here. You could argue for entering here, but I don't like it that much because I don't feel like this is a good enough swing low. No, we see something. So you could argue entering from here because we have an aggressive move. But let's just wait and see what happens because we still haven't swept this high here. We 
also sweep these two here, but I still don't feel confident taking it because I didn't sweep anything here, we didn't go into the fair value gap. Yes, perfect. I wanted to see like all this liquidity get swept before we go short because market runs on liquidity, so yeah, liquidity needs to be taken beforehand before I feel confident in taking my trades. I didn't really feel confident like this move in here. So now we've taken out this fair value gap here, we've taken out this high, I think. Yes, so now we could be looking for some shorts. We see some clear displacement. This could be our displacement, but let's wait for this to be broken right here. Boom, we finally broke it. Now I'll be looking for some shorts. And let's put it to, and let's just put it to four. Because we now cover the high. We've taken out all of this liquidity in here. And we could be ready to go down now. So we want to two again. And uh, let's see what market does. Boom, we are filled to the tick. Right. I wanted to clean, clean trade again. We saw all this liquidity in here get taken out by this move up and we took out this fair value gap here and these one minute highs and yeah then we saw the move down because all the liquidity got swept and yeah the market makers now start to deliver the real price move so a really good trade again let's add two percent so yeah perfect this was our little ICT silver bullet yeah back test and we made some good profits we made five percent on four trades which I would say is really good. We had a 75% win rate. Overall, a really good trade setup if you understand it and you are patient. You really need to look for the good setups, not just take any setup. Sometimes it's not tradable, so I would just wait until you see a clean setup. It's really about patience and yeah, knowing the market. So I recommend you go in and backtest yourself. If you want to backtest, you can use TraderEdge or any other software. I would really recommend it. It makes you a lot better and more confident in the market. Be clear about your trading strategy. I would recommend taking one trade a day, like the silver bullet. That's what I mostly do. So yeah, I would like to say thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Ash Trades here, and I'm out.